the, th the thing was, when I was a kid, uh, I loved martial arts, but my mom would not allow me to do anything involving punching or kicking. So uh, that meant that I uh, had to be a wrestler. So when I was nine years old, I started wrestling, uh, Greco-Roman wrestling, and uh, I continued with that until I was uh, about 19 years old. Yeah, I, I competed a lot. Uh, uh, it was a little bit on and off uh, in my te teen years, but uh, I probably have uh, 500 wrestling uh, matches in a total. Uh, when I finished school, uh, it was really hard to get a job in Sweden. Uh, a lot of uh, youth were uh, unemployed, so that uh, meant that a lot of Swedish um, youngsters uh, immigrated to Norway um, and uh, I was one of them so uh, I went over here to, uh, to find a job. Then I also uh, fell in love with uh, MMA so uh, and because of the great MMA scene uh, here in Norway uh, and the great MMA training uh, I stayed and uh, that's why I'm here today. First I started out at uh, Stolen Young's uh, club um, out in Lernskog and trained there uh, for a while. Uh, then I started to train at Frontline Academy in Oslo and here I met Mosen Bahari and uh, after uh, like a couple of months of training he asked the group like is there anybody here that, that wants a fight? You know and I, I just you know I was a beginner so I, but you know I want to fight so I just like you think I can get a fight and he just like you know he has seen that I could wrestle so it's just like all right you can get a fight you know but if you're gonna fight you, you will have to train a little bit more so you're welcome to come at uh, to, to go to a place called Sun Doctor uh, and, and train with us uh, at daytime as well so I was just like all right nice you know I had no idea what I was going into I met up at Sandaker and uh, down there in the uh, basement um, uh, I met with uh, Joachim Hansen and his team Hellboy uh, and I started to train with uh, those guys. Yeah, my first training with team Hellboy <laughs> was like this. We, I went down and you know as a wrestler you always go 100%. And if you're like a pretty strong beginner, you know, and go 100% with, with people, uh, you're gonna get beat up. So I was, uh, <laughs> I was going with, uh, uh, with the guys and we spar without any chin pads back then. So, uh, and you know, I, I tried to go hard and people went hard on me and I could not walk when I got, got out of there. You know, my, my legs were destroyed of kicks. So, uh, but you know, I, had, I was so happy, you know, I limped at home with a big smile and just like, yes, this is what it's about, you know, I love this shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's the start of, uh, of it. <laughs> I trained with Team Hellboy for, uh, uh, for some years and uh, then we had to move uh, from the, um, the place where we trained and, uh, and the team kind of uh, uh, got split up, but the, most of the guys uh, uh, came back here to Frontline Academy and uh, are still here today uh, and I am one of them. When I, when I was training at Team, team Hellboy, they, uh, Joachim Hansen asked me, Jack, do you want to fight? Uh, of course, you know, I want to fight. Started to train for the fight and uh, then one day he said, yeah, Jack, you know, it's a title fight uh, you're fighting. I'm just like, oh, cool, nice. And then uh, we started to drill some elbows and he was just, Jack, you know, this is a professional fight, right? Ah, nice, you know, <laughs> I didn't know that, you know, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, uh, we, uh, we went over there and, uh, and back then, you know, there was no money involved at all, you know, like, I think we, I think we had to, um, to lie and say, say that I ha had a couple of fights, which I didn't, because, uh, you know, or else they wouldn't accept me to fight that fight, because he was much more experienced than me. And uh, so, so <laughs> we just got away in there, you know, and I remember that, you know, I was broke, you know, I had no money and Joachim was very nice and paid for my flight over and uh, followed me there and coached me and it helped me a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, I won that fight and, uh, and on the, you know, then I won my next one and my next one and, uh, uh, and so on. And, uh, I did a lot of fights in Cage Warriors where I had the belt, uh, defended it a couple of times, 
I fought a little bit in Bellator and uh, in a lot of other places in the European scene uh, until one day uh, the dream come true and I signed up with the UFC. Look at the color of the eyes. We just started. You see the color? Okay. Remember this, all right. So it's going to come very later on. <laughs> um, I just want to tell you about my coach, uh, boxing coach, Aristoman, Aristo Mansouri. Uh, he has been with me all the way back since my first trainings at uh, Team Hellboy. Uh, where he saw me with my sloppy boxing on the mat and started to help me out and he has offered his, his help for me uh, ever since that day. So I'm uh, very grateful uh, to have him in my team and uh, very grateful for all the help he has um, uh, given me. And uh, yeah, he's uh, one of the reasons for these sharp, sharp hands. <laughs> one, two, three, four, seven. Well Ser ilden, ikke sant? <laughs>